Hi everyone, I welcome to my YouTube channel Literature Insights and is the platform to learn English language and literatures in English. If you have not subscribed my YouTube channel Literature Insights yet, so please subscribe it by pressing the bell icon for getting further notifications and updates of my coming videos. In my last tutorial, we have seen organs of speech and they are functioning through three significant systems such as the respiratory system, the phonetic system and the articulatory system. In my earlier tutorial, we have seen two significant systems, the respiratory system and the phonetic system. In this tutorial, I am going to discuss with you the last significant systems of organs of speech, the articulatory system. Before proceeding to the today's topic of articulatory system, it is important to know the learners of English how the sounds are produced, how do they articulate. So it is important to know the moments of our mouth while production or articulation while of sound. production of speech sounds. It is minutely observed that what is happening inside of our mouth at the time of production of speech sound or the articulation of speech sounds. So here the learner should be a keen observer of the moments happening inside his or her mouth while production or articulation of speech. The moments of your tongue, teeth, lips, upper jaw and lower jaw are quick, delicate and complex at the time of production or articulation of speech. We speak or articulate sounds we push air out of the lungs up through our throat and through our mouth and nose. The vibration of our vocal cords along with the movements of tongue and lips that changes the air flow and produces different kinds of sounds. So here the learners of English should make aware about the process of these vibrations occurred in the vocal cords with the help of the moments of tongue and lips that changes the airflow and produces varied type of all the human body parts that we can use in the production of speech sounds are called the articulatory system. So here is a figure of organs of speech. In this figure we can see the organs of our mouth and the organs of our body that plays a significant role in the production or articulation of speech sounds. Without the help of these organs of speech, we cannot produce or articulate any kind of speech sounds. It is very significant to know the learners of English to understand how the articulatory system works or function so they can easily understand the articulation process or the production of speech sounds in an accurate when we take a breath in that is called inhalation and when we throw out the ear that is called exhalation. So these are the significant uh, positions in the production or articulation of speech sounds. So inhalation or exhalations are very significant in the production of speech sounds. So now here it is uh, important to know the air stream mechanism is very significant for the production of speech. When we speak or articulate the speech sounds, our lung push the air in the vocal cords. Through the rest in the vocal tract, the space in the throat, mouth, nose where the sound is produced. The vocal cords are two small membranes in the throat that produce sounds of the voice. When the vocal cords are stretched tight and close together, they vibrate more than 100 times per second and they create sound louder than loud. Vice versa, when the vocal cords are relaxed, the sound comes out more quieter and quieter. So this is the contradictory positions of these cords affect the pitch of the sounds when we produce. So now here it is uh, important to know the learners of English what is pitch. So pitch is nothing but it is a major 
to know the highness or lowness of the sound at a particular point or the hookal cords are stretched longer the sound has a lower the hookal cords are shorter the sound has higher pitch so here we can also find the contradiction in pitch positions of the production of speech sound. the space between the hookal cords is called the glottis as we have earlier seen in the cords in the hookal tract itself are several parts that modify in various ways to change the shape and size of the hookal tract and produce speech sounds of english or any other language these are called the articulators so through this process the articulation of speech sounds come into the existence. lips the lips play an important role in the production of certain speech lips are sounds. used in the production of certain speech sounds such as p b m w f v when we speak these sounds the movements of our lip is rounded unrounded or sometime it is straight it also affects the sounds of vowels so now here the lips playing a significant role in the production or articulation of speech so here the learners of english should observe that when we pronounce the sound p and b when we pronounce p and b our lips are totally closed and this closure is abruptly released in the production or articulation of m sound when we pronounce m our both lips are closed and the air release from through our nose that is why the m sound is also called as a nasal sound the w sound is produced protruding the lips and rounding them so here the lip position is an important factor in the production of vowels and consonants the teeth there are certain consonants are produced with the help of upper teeth and lower teeth so now here the teeth plays a crucial role in the production of We speech can produce a certain consonants with the help of teeth such as f v th and the duh. teeth are used in the production or articulation of speech sounds consonants f and v th and the when we articulate the consonants f and v in the process of articulation we can observe that the upper teeth touching the lower lip and in the production or articulation of speech sounds th and d when we articulate or pronounce th and d consonants in the process of articulation we can find that with the tip of the tongue touching the upper teeth so now here the learners of english should minutely observe the movements of upper teeth and a lower lip in the production of these consonants the alveolar ridge the alveolar ridge is also called the teeth ridge the alveolar ridge is the convex part of the roof of the mouth lying immediately after the upper teeth that is called alveolar ridge when you touches the upper teeth behind part that is called alveolar alveolar ridge can be easily identified by placing the tongue behind the upper teeth like in this way so now see here so this position is called alveolar ridge so you can also observe by touching the tongue behind the many upper consonant teeth. sounds are produced at the teeth ridge or alveolar ridge such as t s z l n when we articulate the consonants t d n s z l 
So at the articulation or production of speech sounds, we can easily observe that our tongue touches behind the upper teeth that is called alveolar ridge. The hard palate, the hard palate is a hard part or a bony surface at the top of the mouth just behind the alveolar ridge or teeth ridge. It can also be called the roof of the mouth. When you close your mouth, your tongue is flat against the hard palate. The tongue touches the hard palate when you articulate or pronounce the consonants like sh, j, ts, z, y. In the articulation or production of these consonants, we can observe that your lips in the flat position to the hard palate when you pronounce these the soft palate the soft palate is also called the velum the soft palate is a soft portion of the roof of the mouth is called the velum or soft palate the soft palate is the softer part of the roof of the mouth behind the hard if you palate. touch the roof of the mouth with your tongue and continues to move back you will find that the soft portion of the roof of the mouth that is called the soft palate or the velum the back part of the tongue touches to the soft palate or the velum when we produce or articulate the consonants like k g Inga. So here we can observe that the back part of the tongue touches to the soft palate or tongue. the velum. The tongue is also the most important organs of speech in the articulation or production of speech sounds. So its importance can be judged from the fact that in many languages the word tongue itself denotes the language the tongue is almost involved in the production or articulation of almost all speech sounds both in vowels and consonants we can also refer a different parts of the tongue which are significant in the production or articulation of speech sounds of the tongue the blade of the tongue and the back part of the tongue so these are the three significant parts of the tongue which are used in the articulation or production of speech sound the lower jaw so now here we have seen there are two significant jaws the lower jaw and upper jaw in compared to both jaws we can observe or see the lower jaw is the active articulator in the production of speech sound the prime function of lower jaw when the lower jaw moves up and down it allows the mouth to open and close the movements of lower jaw helps the tongue to move lower and higher position it also make helps to the mouth inside the smaller or bigger space. all these movements of the lower jaw having its a great importance in the production or articulation of speech when we produce sounds, sounds the movements of the lower jaw has great influence while production or articulation of speech sounds the nasal cavity the nasal cavity is a space in a nose where air in and out when we breathe through our nose it can be also called the nasal passage the nasal cavity is important in the production or articulation of consonants m n g when we pronounce or articulate the consonants m n g at the time of articulation of these consonants the air released through nose that is called nasal sounds so these sounds is also identified as nasal sounds in a phonetic the above organs such as the lungs the vocal cords the lips the teeth the hard palate 
the soft palate, the alveolar ridge, the nasal cavity, the oral cavity, the tongue. So these are the significant organs of the human body which plays a significant role in the production or articulation of speech sounds. Without the movements of these organs of speech, we cannot produce any kind of sounds in any language. So these organs are very important in the production or articulation of speech sounds. If you like my videos on the articulatory system of organs of speech, please share, subscribe and like my videos among your friends and fraternity of English literature. So if you have not subscribed my YouTube channel Literature Insights yet, so please subscribe it by pressing the bell icon for getting further updates of my coming videos. So thank you for watching.